What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com, welcome. And before we get started with the vehicles, I wanna let you know about these coupon codes. So before you check out, check out these coupon codes. But let's go ahead and get started. I'll put links down in the description below for all the stuff that I talk about today. But if you wanna just head over to our website, OMGRC.com, click on pre-orders, you'll see what we'll be talking about today. Uh, just to kind of let you know real quick, um, we are still taking, we got allocated a little bit more of these um, Kyosha 110 scale Dodge Charger, supercharged VE, it is brushless. So just kind of let you guys know in regards to that one. All right, let's get right to the nitro and the electric here. What are we talking about? These are one eighth scale, these two vehicles here. These come in nitro, so the WR8 Nitro 3.0 2001 WRC Subaru Impreza and the WR8 Flux WRC Subaru Impreza RTR. All right, the biggest question here I'm sure is, it's on pre-order, when's it coming? I was already told that uh, from my distributor that they would be here, they're already here in the US, There's, so they said sometime probably early next week. So yeah, it's a 1-4-2022, and we're expecting these things sometimes next week. Now, if it gets delayed just a little bit, don't hurt me, you know, because I'm just relaying the information I'm being told. So, all right, let's just jump right into this Nitro version here for you Nitro fans. So, WR8 Nitro 3.0. So, cool car. I mean, obviously, it's iconic. You know, I don't have to really get into it. You guys that already know about these, like, it's an iconic car. Um, as far as that body, this WRC in general sound of a um a boxster engine with a nice exhaust on it is just its own type of sound and they sound great all right so this nitro one here for the new new nitro fans maybe even uh, you want to make sure you break all this stuff in man when it comes to the nitro engine read up your instructions highly read it up on your instructions here so you can enjoy this car for what it is so make sure you do that uh, typically, and this is, don't hold me again, uh, to it, you know, normally it's like 20% nitro. Uh, you do have electronics in here, so it doesn't just run on nitro for new people <laughs> that are into nitro. You still need to receive a signal and that's going to require electric. So there are typically like four AA batteries and you're going to need four AA batteries for your radio, your transmitter. So just be aware of that and you got your pull start so you need like the glow igniter to get that little uh, glow plug hot to get it started and then from there you're good to go again breaking it in first so check those instructions out all right all right um yeah man this thing cranks out oh, man 32,000 max rpms so this thing screams so really cool and i'll be honest man nitro smells pretty awesome so <laughs> there you go um, yeah, this thing's cool. So let me go ahead and jump over to, and I'm going to let you guys know both. Um, and I kind of skipped it real quick was that we do take Klarna. Uh, it's getting more, people are getting more familiar with the name, which is just a payment option. And you can break it up into four easy payments, man, interest free. So read up on that one. It's usually, it's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it should be bi-weekly. So every two weeks, you know, they're going to drop that payment on your credit card, pay it off, get another two weeks, drops on your credit card, pay it off. That way you don't have to get charge any interest from your credit card, but on Klarna is not charging you any interest is what they're saying. All right. So again, same awesome, you know, as far as the body goes, cool. I guess I would have liked to seen LEDs on this thing. I'm just, man, I'm just nitpicking at this point in time, but cool car. Now, this thing is capable of a 3S LiPo battery, but you can run on 2S, so maybe uh, you kind of new to it a little bit too. And uh, you don't want to run this thing, you know, at full speed. And so you can run on a 2S LiPo or a 3S. Uh, type of connection, battery connection you're going to need is a T style or Dean, however you want to say it. And um, that would be the plug that you would need for your battery. You can always, I mean, if you're more experienced or you know about soldering, you can always put your own different connection that's on there, no biggie. But uh, just be aware of that. Um, yeah, so uh, this thing's got a 4,000 kV brushless motor, so it rips pretty good. Obviously, if it's doing 60 plus miles an hour, it's a pretty nice motor that's in here. 
Uh, it's when it comes to the electronic speed controller, it doesn't say what the amps are on it, but if you're achieving those types of speeds, this thing can push out some power and that motor can take the power. So that's pretty nice on here. Velcro straps, I always like the Velcro over just a bar that goes across here, limiting the amount or the size of my battery. So yeah, for some of you guys that are like, hey, what size battery should I get? You know, honestly, I have there's like a little sweet spot of like at least a 5,000 milliamp battery. You can run on 2S 5,000, 3S 5,000. You can go up higher. The milliamp is just the amount of storage that's in the battery. It's not going to give you, it's going to give you longer run time is what you're going to get. Uh, and spend, if you get more longer run time, be mindful that, uh, you know, the motor still got to work pretty hard. This is a 1.8 scale. These are 1.8 scale vehicle, vehicles. These are pretty big vehicles nonetheless. Uh, so just check temperatures on uh, this motor every so often, you know, maybe run it for five minutes and check temperatures. You could always run it a little bit less and see where you're at, especially during uh, hotter times or hotter seasons than others. We're in Florida. So those seasons are pretty much, it's kind of cool and it's hot. And that's pretty much it. So I'm pretty used to just checking temperatures on the motor. Um, I don't know what, you know, when it comes to the spur gear, you know, oh, is that mod one or is that 32 pitch? I don't know. It doesn't tell us, but you, maybe some of you guys already had this vehicle or, or like they're mentioning here, the HPI bullet monster truck, because that's already been out. You know, maybe you can find out. Oh yeah, that's just using 32 pitch. All right, cool. So that way you could lower the gearing, you know, if by chance it's running, you want to lower the speeds a little bit or whatever. You want to kind of gear it up a little bit. Just be mindful when you do gear it up, you put more load on everything and, you know, things are going to get hot quick. Um, yeah, but man, this thing's cool. I like the tires and everything. I mean, I just like it. It's cool. It's a cool looking car. This is the 20th anniversary. Richard Burns, as far as his 2001 WRC driver champion. So cool, man. These things... They're iconic, like I said. So they were definitely a cool, cool car. Definitely like I like the styling of it. I know not everybody did, and to each their own on that one. But that hood scoop and everything like that, and the sound, they just they were just cool. I just liked them. It's one of my favorite bodies that are here. I do like the other one, a little bit older one. I think it's like a '98 or whatever, where it's got the different um, headlights to it. But is I liked either one of them. So I like the sounds. They were cool. All right, I'm going to get out of here. I appreciate you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know, let us know how we're doing. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in it, we like I said, we'll put the links down in the description below. And check us out. You can always sign up for our newsletter. That will be down in the description also. So that way, yeah, man, you're in the know. And until next time, you guys take care. Thank you again for watching. Take care. Peace.